I don't know how many people know this, but it's all right to criticize your favorite team or your favorite player when they come up short. For some reason these days, it's looked upon as you not being a real fan when you criticize your own team or your favorite player. I don't get, know how we got here with this one, but it's crazy. I experienced this a lot in the last few years when it either comes to the Bucks or when it comes to the Packers. I was once in a um, <clears throat> Packer, I guess a Packer fan group on Facebook a couple years back, right? And it was the 2019 season. Yeah, 2019 season, right before the vid started. And the Packers, I think they played the Seattle Seahawks in the divisional round before they end up going to the NFC Championship game to play that game of Santa Clara against the 49ers. And I said in this Packer fan group, I don't feel really confident that the Packers were going there and win. Um, if you guys want my honest to God truth, I think they're going to get blown out. I don't think it's going to be pretty for the Packers. And sure enough, under that thread line, you're not a real fan, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you got no confidence in your team, blah, 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 blah. Such and such. And sure enough, come that Sunday, uh, the Packers got blitzkrieg by the 49ers. Just like the way I said it was going to happen. I, I said in that thread that the Packers defense, they're not fast enough to hold um, at the time the running back. I forgot the name of the running back. I think he went to the Dolphins now. I don't know if he's even still in the league, but the 49ers had this running back was basically like a track star. And, of course, the 49ers had that defense at the time. They still do. And I said, it's not going to be pretty. And the Packers got ran up on. And so they kicked me out of the group. But I was right, though. And now... I can't even call it Dame, Dame Dollar no more. Or even Giannis. You call it those two. They get mad. And, and these folks, these dudes are probably not even, they're not even real Bucks fans. I've been a Bucks fan since 96, 97. The earliest I can think of, right? I went to my first Bucks game at the Bradley Center probably around 96, 97. Some of you guys, I know some people might hear our uh, Bucks fans and might even be from Milwaukee. Y'all remember the Bradley Center? Now it's just the empty lot. I think they plan on building a hotel or something like that, supposedly. But anyways, that's not like I've been a Bucks fan for. So when I see something that's not right with this team, like last year, we knew what was not right with this team. As a fan, I have a right to criticize a team and their moves. I think. Every fandom does that. I hear Laker fans criticize. We all know real Laker fans, not these stupid ass LeBron fans out here. But we know real Laker fans have criticized the moves of the Lakers in the past six, seven years without problem. Or any other fan. We all know Cowboys fans have done the same thing, too. But I don't know when it got to this point when you can't even criticize the team no more. And then if you criticize the team, oh, you're not a real fan. It's like, what? And it's the same thing when it comes to different genres of entertainment or anything else. Just a couple of days ago, I made a video about this new trash ass Batman animated series, or whatever it's called on Amazon Prime. And I had my criticism. I did not love the show. I hated it. I criticize that every woman on this show is angry and just disgusted when it comes to talking to the opposing sex in the TV show. But guess what I got in the comment section on that video? All kinds of insults, just like I did when it came to um, criticizing Dame this past season. Even the last video I did a couple of weeks ago, when I said this is Dame's time to redeem himself because... Last year, uh, everybody respects you to, you, you're finally on the team now. You're finally on the team with another 
top 75 player. I don't know how Dame became a top 75 player. I don't know how he got on that list. But you you linked up with Giannis now. This is kind of what you wanted. You don't want to be important no more. And you didn't really hold up your side of the bargain like that. You had some flashes, but you didn't hold up your side of the bargain. And at this point in time, me, my point of view is they should have, if I would have known they was going through this, had to go through this with Damian Lillard this past season, I would say just run it back with the same team you have. Make some augmentations with it. But keep Drew Holiday. Don't trade for Dame. If Dame is going to put up a performance like this, and you over here still talking about, I wish I could be in Miami. I wish I could play with Bam out of butt. That's like, dude, you're in Milwaukee now. Stop complaining. Play like you're supposed to be playing. But he has yet to do that. I don't care if he scores 71 points in a game. 71 points does not translate to winning an NBA championship. It does not. So, yeah, I don't know when we got to this point where you can't criticize anything you just i guess you're supposed to just uh accept it and just you know agree with it and just slop it up eat the slop as it goes don't criticize the slop just eat it it's like no it always goes to this analogy if the um food ain't great at a restaurant i have every right to criticize the food right I'm not going to just sit here and because I don't want to hurt feelings or don't don't want to uh, be a problem or something like that. Doesn't mean I can't voice my opinion. Make some suggestions. These people are weird, man. This world has gotten really weird. But anyways. <laughs>